It's time for another Lake of the Ozarks Fishing Report brought to you by Tackle HD and presented today by professional angler Casey Scanlon. Hey everyone, Casey Scanlon here with another Tackle HD Fishing Report for Lake of the Ozarks. We're getting towards the end of May. The water temp is in the lower 70s and the fish are really biting. So got out there on the water this morning. Uh, the water level is still a little bit low. Normally this time of year as we get close to the holiday weekend here, get closer to June. Uh, the water's at full pool, but we're still a couple feet low, um, you know, so that puts less cover in the water, but there's both a shallow and a deep bite. It's one of my favorite times to be on the water here at the lake, and the weather's absolutely beautiful. So no better time to get out here and try to catch some fish and, and actually learn uh, a lot. So um, getting bites always helps you learn and this is a time to get out there, get a lot of bites. You can throw a variety of lures, variety of techniques are worth working both shallow and deep. So you can experiment with that, learn and uh, hopefully become a better angler. So great time to be on the water. Uh, let's get into kind of some of the techniques that are working and what these fish are doing. Uh, so there's both a shallow bite and a deep bite. So we've got uh, the fish have just finished spawning. You know, there's still a few fish on beds. I was out there walking the banks the other day uh, by the boat dock and, and saw several uh, nice fish still on beds. There's a lot of bluegill beds. So when you go back into these creeks and coves, into these shallow pockets, uh, visibly keep an eye out uh, for some of these bluegill beds. They, they make uh, the beds real tight together and almost, they're real big, bright spots, you know, usually about the size of the front deck of the boat. Uh, and they look like kind of craters on the moon. They've got uh, these little kind of holes dug out where they lay, uh, make their nest, lay their eggs. And those bass like to patrol the edges of those bluegill beds, keep them in check and, and get an easy meal. So uh, be sure to check that out. Uh, when you're fishing shallow, um, seems like, you know, the wacky rig sticks worm. God just got a Hayabusa um, wacky hook in there. Special wacky wire guard is the one I'm throwing. Two ought. 10 pound Bass Pro Shops fluorocarbon to a 15 pound uh, Bass Pro Shops uh, braided line leader. So that's a great setup for your spinning rods, uh, whether you're throwing a shaky head, whether you're throwing this, um, you know, finesse worms are working as well. Variety of the finesse worms from Tackle HD are working. Um, you know, fish around the cover, whether it's a boat dock, uh, the shade of a tree, a brush pile uh, laying in the water, a lay down, um, you know, even just some moss laying on the bank. Those fish want to get under something. They want to be protected and uh, they're just kind of hiding out. The water's super clear right now, especially on the lower end of the lake. Uh, a lot of visibility. You can see those fish swimming around in a lot of the coves and pockets. And, um, you know, if you lead them with a good cast, especially uh, with that, uh, sticks worm, you know, put a good cast on them out in front of them, try to land it silently. Those fish will run up and eat that bait, get a lot of visual strikes, and it's a super fun way to fish. Um, but sh like I said, shaky heads have been working. Uh, the Trophy Bass Company jigs are always a, a staple in my ta tackle box, but it's a great way to fish both shallow and deep this time of year. So up shallow, I'm throwing the half ounce version, usually on 20 pound Bass Pro Shops fluorocarbon, uh, fishing that on the bottom around brush piles, around boat docks, uh, any kind of uh, cover that I'm uh, visibly seeing or, or looks good on the Garmin electronics, I'm throwing, throwing it to it and uh, you know working it back to the boat nice and slow uh, most of the time on the bottom is, is uh, the way to do it. Uh, so half ounce for shallower water. When I'm getting out deeper, when I see some of these schools of fish on points and, and out off bluff ends and ledges, things like that, um, I'll pick up a heavier bait. The, the metabolism of the fish right now, um, it has really increased as the water gets warmer, they get more active. So they're willing to chase down a bait and I want a bait that falls fast to them and it gets in the strike zone real fast. So I don't have to waste a lot of time waiting on it to sink. So uh, five eighths, three quarter ounce when you're fishing out a little bit deeper, you know, I'd say greater than 10 or 15 foot. Try that, try that heavier jig out. Uh, you'll be able to feel the bottom better, be able to feel what your jig's doing and um, hopefully it'll, it'll catch you some more fish. But the jig has been really good. 
um, shallow and deep. The finesse presentation has been working really great. Up shallow, your top waters, a lot of surface activity out there today. Uh, so top water baits are working, whether that's a spook, whether that's a pop R or the uh, Tackle HD Worldwide Buzzer, uh, all are good options for getting out there, covering some water, and those can be some, some of the most fun days you'll have on the water. Uh, the best strikes that you're gonna get, ones that you'll remember for, for years to come. So great way to catch some big ones. So don't be afraid to try that Worldwide Buzzer up there shallow, burn some uh, trolling motor up, cover some ground, and uh, you're gonna run across a big one for sure. Uh, when you see that surface activity, a lot of fish kind of trying to school. Uh, you'll see some schooling activity here in the next few weeks. Top water's great, but this little swim bait, a uh, little Tackle HD swimmer on the back of a quarter ounce jig head is a, is a great bait to just throw out there when you see some of that surface activity and just get some bites. Uh, you can throw uh, some really big baits right now and do well, so um, whether you're uh, whether you're just fishing for um, you know some limit fish or, or trying to catch that fish of a lifetime, now's a good time uh, to come down here and do it at the lake. A lot of fish are, are biting in some big ones as well. So let's talk about the deep bite a little bit. We talked a lot about the shallow bites so far. A uh, variety of things are working up there. Just fish around cover and you're going to catch fish. But out deep, I'm using my Garmin Electronics. I'm looking out off the bank on flats, on points, sharp drops bluff ends, things like that. I'm idling around using my Garmin side view and down view to try to locate these fish. And then uh, once I mark them on the bottom with my uh, graph, I turn around and throw to them uh, and, and use my Garmin live scope uh, to kind of pinpoint those casts and see where they're, where they're sitting at. So uh, makes it really fun and easy. And um, you know, we caught a lot of fish today. Uh, they were trying to get out there a little bit. So we caught a lot of fish in that 10 to 12 foot range. Uh, a lot of them were on finesse presentations, uh, but you can get really creative out deep. So uh, staples for me, uh, shaky hand with the finesse worm, uh, the Tackle HD Pro Jig for sure, 5 eighths, 3 quarter ounce a lot of the times. Uh, fishing a little bit shallower, you might try uh, to lighten it up a little bit, use that half ounce. Uh, Tackle HD T-Craw or a uh, speed bug on the back of both of those have been really good uh, trailer options. They've got a lot of uh, movement to them. So um, you'll get a lot of bites that way. Like I said, a swim bait's gonna work both shallow and deep. Um, you can increase the size or make that swim bait as small as you want to, and you're gonna get some bites. Um, deep crank bait is gonna start working here in, uh, in the next week or so. Uh, big, big brush hogs. Uh, Tackle HD uh, brush buster on the back of a Carolina rig or even on the back of a jig can be really, really good out there. Um, you know, anything that's going to get to the bottom fast and be able to be fished out deep is going to get some bites. So like I said, great time to experiment with techniques and a great time to learn. But use your electronics if you, if you are able to, uh, to kind of shorten that process up. Get out there, look around and if you see fish on your electronics they're there and you can turn around and catch them a lot of times they're pretty active this time of year and they coming off of the spawn they're pretty um pretty aggressive they're they're pretty willing to bite they're hungry they're wanting to feed up and get healthy for the summertime and uh it's a great time to go out there and, and throw a variety of techniques at them and see what happens so uh fishing's gonna be really good the weather is beautiful and we're coming up on a holiday weekend, so a uh, great time to get down to the lake, try some fishing, and uh, you won't be disappointed. Fishing's been good, so good luck to everyone out there. Be safe this holiday weekend, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. Right now, you can find our Tackle HD Crankhead and Square Bill 2-packs in over 200 Walmart locations across the Midwest. It's a great value, and we've got some awesome colors for you to choose from. Just look for the Tackle HD display next time you visit the fishing aisle at Walmart.